Christmas 2, Year A. From the book of Jeremiah, Proclaim, give praise, and say, Save, O Lord, your people, the remnant of Israel. In the name of that Lord, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Amen. Our readings for today speak a counter-narrative in the shadow of a story of unspeakable violence, a story that our gospel skips right over. For after the wise men had left, Herod was infuriated, and he sent and killed all the children in and around Bethlehem who were two years old or under. It was to escape this massacre that Joseph fled with his family to Egypt. When, therefore, our readings speak of gathering, we must remember that the people to whom they speak have quite literally been scattered. When our readings speak of longing for home, we must remember that the people to whom they speak have quite literally been exiled. When our readings speak of adoption, we must remember that the people to whom they speak have quite literally been orphaned and left childless. We must remember that this disposability of life in which innocents are slaughtered, losing their lives in exchange for a political objective, this fugitive childhood, sought in a land beyond the reach of a toxic system, this youth spent in the shadow of parents who constantly look over their shoulders, this is the life Jesus experienced when he humbled himself to share our humanity. Let us resolve not to take the dignity of human nature for granted as something to which we are entitled, but to recognize it instead as a gift for which we ought to proclaim and give praise. And when we learn of those to whom that dignity has been denied, let us turn to our God and say, Save, O Lord, your people, the remnant of Israel. For we too must share the humanity that God took upon himself, if we hope to share the divine life of him who humbled himself, so that what has been spoken through the prophets might be fulfilled in us. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen.